Marjorie's a healthy. Six billion dollars of revenue. Not bad. Yeah, in 2023, six billion dollars of revenue, and uh, it's actually becoming a material part of the business now. You know, with higher margins, higher growth rates, and sizable revenues. Six billion is a nothing. That could be, you know, a very valuable public company if it was listed separately. How much do you think it would be valued? If Tesla Energy, that's a great question. Um, good topic to kind of talk about a little bit. If Tesla Energy was a separate business today, how much do you think it would be valued? I mean, it's hard to kind of separate the value. So much of it is really Tesla's expertise, their integration with their ecosystem and everything. But let's take a look. How much profit did energy make? I mean, Adam, you know, it's good to point out, though, that Tesla Energy is actually easier to value as a separate business um, than Tesla Automotive versus, let's say, FSD separate than Tesla Automotive, right? Or 4680s separate than Tesla Automotive. Tesla Energy, not much overlap there between the automotive in terms of employees and technology and everything. It's pretty incredible that Tesla's energy business alone has almost two and a half times as much revenue now as X does. <laughs> it's funny to think about. Service is another revenue is 8.3 billion, bigger than energy which is kind of interesting. Yeah, a lot of that is used cars. So I was listening right, to yeah. the earnings space while the earnings you know, um, was released and people mentioned um, supercharging revenues, body repair revenues, out of warranty uh, repair kind of stuff. Uh, but they didn't mention used car. Used car sales, I think is like at least half of that segment. So it's the biggest driver of services and other revenues. But putting that aside for a second, back to Tesla Energy, $6 billion revenue in 2023, 50% year over year growth. Okay. Margins are better than Tesla Automotive. But they haven't disclosed it. Well, mega pack margins are, I think, you know, safe to say. I mean, machine, would you agree? Mega pack margins, which is, you know, the large portion of energy. Yeah, I mean, you can calculate that the gross margins of energy in total is over twenty percent now, and that's still without mega pack the Lathrop facility uh, scaled. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're still only producing half at capacity and only uh, record recognizing less than half so far in these quarters so i just imagine that the gross margin could go up a bit more maybe get to 25 percent there's a lot of people obviously in the last year arguing that the mar margins can be extremely high um over time and as the lithium prices come have come down uh maybe we can get to 30 percent and if you take a look at the gross profit on a single quarter right now you're maybe around 400 million uh, from energy, and I'm assume most of that is from Megapack, but that's on uh, recognized revenue of, or excuse me, recognized uh, gigawatt hours of of about four, a little less than four. And keep in mind, even at the steady state, it should be five right now. And then when they get scale to forty gigawatt hours annualized from that facility, that should be ten per quarter. So if we assume full scaled uh, Lathrop and even a half scaled Shanghai, and we just try to model that in terms of gross profit, we might be able to get in a year $6 billion in gross profit. That's my quick calculation. So I don't know what you know forward PE ratio you would give uh, $6 billion uh, of profit. You wouldn't. Hold on. You would not give a PE ratio to gross profits. I, earnings is net yeah, earnings. I, I know. Okay, so you have I some know. operating expenses. Yes. Some tax effects. Uh, go ahead. I don't have that information. That's gross, right? I, I, I agree. 
So, but you're not going to give, uh, uh, but I, I would argue you're going to give something higher than 10, right? I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I, like, I'm, I'm really hesitant about putting a multiple on gross profit. So just make some assumptions on operating expenses and then tax rate and then apply your right. P ratio. Do we think operating margin on just mega packs will be 15%? 20% or, or less or more like let's start with Omar Sawyer Wes do you think mega pack operating margin will be higher or lower than 15 20% huh um probably in that range I think I mean it's probably going to be a little bit easier than the auto business, but um, probably in that range, 15 to 20%, maybe. I think it'll be over 20% for the Shanghai mega factory that's going to come online. But what makes this a little difficult to estimate is like Tesla dropped mega pack prices a little over 20% in Q4. So are the prices and, you know, margin stuff we're seeing now account for that? Or have we yet to see those sort of trickle down into, or have they, like, have those mega packs not been installed yet? We'll see. Wes? Yeah, exactly. I was wondering the same thing. As the Lathrop facility continues to ramp up, as well as those price cuts, when, when are we going to realize that? So they're offsetting. I mean, on the other yeah. hand, you have the declining lithium prices as well, which is a material expense for the energy business. Um, so you're going to recognize the benefit of those as well as well as the uh, prices declining. So I would just assume as a rule of thumb, um, they should be approximately the same. I mean, it might be some sort of quarter difference here and there, but I would think operating margin for mega packs should be more than 20%. But let's say 20%, unless if somebody has, um, you know, want to argue the other side, I would assume 20% operating margin for mega pack business. That doesn't mean Tesla energy margins will be 20% because there's other stuff like energy generation store uh, and um, yeah, energy generation. I Omar? assume. Tesla dropping the price 20% has more to do with just their uh, dropping cogs rather than, you know, demand issues. Because obviously, the, I think the wait time is, it wasn't, it's not quite two years like it used to be, but I think it's still like 18 months-ish. Exactly. Omar? All right, so I've decided the company is worth $35 billion. You're crazy. Yeah, I think if you were to spin it out, and I don't, I'm not advocating this, but I think if you were to spin out this business, Wall Street would probably give it a higher multiple because battery energy storage, essentially the same business as making an EV, except it's way simpler. Instead of making a car, you just have like this box, which can be you know controlled by a UI. And, you know, it's growing, you know, at like 80% in the United States this year. And it's not cyclical, right? You know, these buyers are like moving at an institutional scale. They're not as subject to like the consumer credit cycle. So I think you'd probably get a higher multiple on earnings than Tesla, the auto business for the energy business, just because of the nature of that business, how it's growing much faster, how the margins are higher. And how um, you know it, it doesn't seem to be as cyclical as the auto business. I think it'd be more than thirty-five, just based on the the growth, fifty-plus percent growth year over year, and then the, the nearly quadrupled <laughs> profits in twenty twenty-three. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to be fair, you know. So 
I would probably look at this as like an institutional investor and say maybe, okay, well, BYD has a battery product. CATL has a battery product. Why is Tesla going to dominate? And, you know, as a Tesla shareholder, I'd respond, well, they got software, they got auto bidder, they got this virtual power plant technology, they got all this really advanced stuff they're doing, integration with their ecosystem, you know, scale, these factories. But, you know, I think that's probably about fair for where they are. Machine. Yeah, I did some uh, number crunching, assuming an operating margin of 15% and revenues on 60 gigawatt hours, which is just what I expect from Lathrop and a half online um, Shanghai by middle of next year. That um, and, and assuming revenue per pack uh, goes down. 20% of what it was in Q4 um, that I'm getting a operating income of uh, over 3 billion. And so I would think if you applied some, you know, ratio, or at least of like 30 to that, I think you're getting over a hundred, hundred billion in value um, yeah, I mean, on what you get in a year, you know, in a year from now. And obviously you start, people start forecasting if they decide to open up more, facilities um they'll try to model it out further you know higher revenue uh, a little bit lower revenue per pack but operating margins might stay you know relatively steady because it's you know, the fixed cost might spread out some um and then you can obviously get higher valuations too so i would say today i would value it around 100 billion yeah i was i was going to say exactly the same thing finally you smart finally Yeah, hundred billion dollars. I thought it was higher, but the growth rate dropped a little bit, declined. So, but hundred billion on a standalone basis for Tesla energy business, I think, is reasonable. 